Testing, testing, making noises. I'm making noises and you're noises. All right, let's do the better camera angle. Like that, huh? That's pretty good. Right? Tilt down. All right. Yo, what's going on, guys? MC on the mic is back. Where have um, we been? We haven't been anywhere. We've just been not doing podcasts because you were sick, I was sick, we were traveling around. We're again, doing things. one more thing. Guys, is Mosquito Heaven over here. We are getting bit tortured by mosquitoes. In California. I'm from Florida. We're used to having, um, we're totally used to having mosquitoes. You're not used to having mosquitoes. Oh, yes, I am. But I think so. But now you're used to having mosquitoes. Tell me about some of these big lumps that are on the back of your leg from all these mosquitoes. Well... I have like one here, what was from yesterday, what's crazy in pain. Why is it so painful? I don't understand. I don't know. What? Is Why your... are you so sweet? The mosquitoes, I think one of, they want to drink all your blood. It's because I'm made of stardust. You're made of stardust. You knew that. I'm, I'm made of stardust Okay, too. well. And those people at home are also made of stardust. And, th- and this dog right here is also made of pure love right here. Pure love and joy. Zero. Zero. Look, Look up at here. the camera. People want to see you over there. This is my puppy. Here, here. Well, he's not here. really a puppy now. Here, he's, he's like over one. What? Here, will you take him? No. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here, Zero. Oh, Zero! Okay, well, today we want to talk about Luigi's Mansion, right, Dada? Yeah, let's talk about Luigi's Mansion and why it's taking so long for there to be a Luigi's Mansion 4. I mean... They, they said it's going to be... They said it's going to be in 2024... October 1st, so... I mean... Keep the mic. I like when you're talking to the mic, but look, you see it over your face. You can't see how awesome you look. Just put it down, like, right by your... Just below your chin. Yeah, so as there you... you yeah, you can see why we're theming the Luigi's Mansion, because I have a Luigi's Mansion awesome shirt on. Why... What is it about Luigi's Mansion that you like so much? Why do you like that so much more than regular Super Mario or Bowser's Fury or any of these games? Because the challenge... And I've always wanted to ask you a couple questions about, like... Why can't it be Mario Mansion? Like, why is it always Luigi that goes through these mansions? If it was up to me, they would both have a mansion. They would both be haunted. Mario's mansion would be different from Luigi's. I feel like Luigi's is like a real spook house, like a real haunted house. We have Halloween coming up, by the way. We should talk about Halloween after. But Mario's mansion would be like funny, scary things, right? Like Toad jumps out. What are you looking at up there? Get off there. Toad jumps out of a closet or like... Princess Peach does something wild and like comes out dressed as a ghost or something. It could be fun. Totally. And Toad Ali. Toad Ali. And and you know and you know and you know guys, this is how it all began became. Now You just sounded like a like a British person. This is how it all began. That's Meowth. That's, that's the worst that's, British impression ever. I'm sorry, don't judge me. That's James from Pokemon. James I, from Pokemon. Um, oh, he talks like... Is James the, the team Rocket? Yes, okay. Forget all of that. Sorry, go ahead. Um, <laughs> but what I want to know is that... You were talking about Luigi's Mansion. Yes. You know what? It. True fact. Hmm. Luigi has never had his video game for 30 years. It's been over 30 years. It since has not been 30 years, has it? The song says it. It's been 30 years. 30 years. At, 30 years since Luigi has his very own game. First it was Mario, and then 30 years later, what? Luigi has his own game? What the heck? What the heck? So, the call came through, go and grab your flashlight and save your bro from a ghost at midnight. S- who's King Boo. All the ghosts, I don't know if you realize, but it's at 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. And what's creepy that I sk- that scares me is that Time doesn't pass there. At at Luigi's Mansion? Nope. It's always 12 o'clock there in the middle of the night while it's his mansion. So he goes to sleep. That's pretty creepy. He goes to sleep at the same time we go to sleep, 8, and then he wakes up, and all of a sudden, it's 12 for the whole night. And then once he beats the level, yeah, keeps going, keeps going. The time starts again once he beats the whole game? Yes. But haven't you realized it's always dark out? It is always dark out. We don't need that. We can just keep on talking. Save that message for somebody else. Um, but, yeah, yeah, why is it always <clears throat> dark when it's Luigi's Mansion, but when he just arrives, it's always bright? Like, 
I what I think is that they're trying to make it seem scary, right? So they did it at nighttime. Sorry, my daddy's weird phone is just attacking us right now. I know, I know. I don't know why it is. Um, all right, so what else? Let's talk about Halloween. Let's talk about Halloween costumes. Grim you, Reaper up there. But you're actually going to be... King Boo. King Boo from Luigi's and Mansion. And you're going to be Luigi, and my mom is going to be my wife. Uh-oh. Which wife? Helen Gravely. Helen Your worst Gravely. boss, Luigi. Is it Helen Gravely or Helen Gravesly? Helen Gravely. Gravely. Okay. All right. If you guys don't know who Helen Gravely is, you should check her out she's on, right uh, here Luigi's Mansion she's right here where uh, is she right here, right here. Can you really see can you zoom in I'll do like a zoom in effect like <laughs> um so mom's gonna be Helen Gravesley I'm gonna be Luigi which is amazing because that's gonna give me the opportunity to buy a pair of overalls which I've been needing a pair of overalls for a long take time take mine you're just gonna break them I will not fit in your overalls you over all and, the time. And Zero will have to be your companion. Yes. Pulter Pup. Yes. Who's going to be Egad? Egad? You know who can be Egad. Alina, your cousin. Thanks a lot. Um, Pete. Pete the cat <laughs> is going to dress up as a as boy scientist? <laughs> He's a boy. That's all right. Yeah, I guess we could get him a little cat lab coat. That makes it more official. Yeah. And I also wanted to talk about Luigi's Mansion 4 with you. Okay. What do you know about it that's actually real? Leave that cord alone or it's going to make much. our sound. You know zero that's actually real. We have not heard any official announcements. We're just making this up, right? Yeah, but... But I'm, our ideas, right? Yes. Sit I'm, back and talk into the mic. Come on. I'm wondering <laughs> if we should plan... Should it be a canoe? Should it be a, should it be a cruise ship? Should it cruise be... Cruise ship would be super creepy. And you have all the different rooms, different levels on the cruise ship, like a like a oh, mansion, like a haunted mansion. Yeah, but should be should we keep going with the mansion or should we do the Polter Express? <laughs> the Polter Express? Wait, what's the Polter Express? A train. Like the Polar Express? Yeah, a train that goes for miles and miles, and it's always four o'clock where you have to toot all day. We have to toot all day. It doesn't sound scary. It sounds smelly. Um, all right, so I would be I would be up for um, a scary haunted train ride. <laughs> or or. <laughs> This podcast is deteriorating. <laughs> you have the hiccups, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe it out. Breathe it. My son, my beautiful boy, Macklin, he gets the hiccups very easily when he laughs hard. Um, I... You can't scream into the microphone because that's going to sound terrible. Just try to talk through your hiccups. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get it over. And I'll mute that scream. I'll mute that scream because that is going to sound super loud on your computer at home. Um, anyways, what? I don't need this. I'm just, gonna... just relax and drink some water. This is how we deal with hiccups in the Cohen household. Lots of water. Remember little sips. I like to do like 10 mini sips. Like, <laughs> super hard to do mini sips, but it does. Do that to zero. <laughs> Can you just, <laughs> just do calm it. down for a second? <laughs> Um, how long have we gone? We've only been on here eight minutes. You already have the hiccups. And we have to do it for 30. 30 minutes? That's yes. how long our podcast is? Like always. All right. Well, let me tell people about some of the stuff that I'm doing um, while you get rid of your hiccups. I have started, I've joined Cameo. So if you guys are looking for a special um, birthday or, or holiday shout outs, uh, go on Cameo and find me and I will, um, I'll send something your way. Inspirational words, uplifting messages, He's a whatever. Tutor. I'm a tutor. I, 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 I toot around this house. And you're a hiccupper. You're a hiccupper. <laughs> Stop. Hey, I just got rid of that. You just gave okay, us I'm sorry. That I'm not, I won't even look at you. You just work on your hiccups. I'll look here. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, and look. It was my 40th birthday, ladies and gentlemen. I've just turned 40, and I feel great. And look. My wife had this beautiful picture printed for me. She had a color one. This is the black and white one. Look at how adorable... That picture is try to get rid of the reflection in there of me uh, hugging my boy. Pretty awesome. Um, 
nice and easy, nice and easy. Um, parents, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are because your parents, and this is me and Macklin wiling out, but I'd love to know. Um, if you too. I, all the parents too <laughs> out there. I uh, maybe silently, maybe quietly, maybe in private. I'm very Stop. loud. Stop. You have the hiccups. But what do other parents do for hiccups? I know that some people hold their breath. Some people breathe into a bag. Some people drink upside down. Have you ever tried that one? If you tilt your head upside down, the water kind of like goes on the top of your mouth, down your throat, and somehow it makes your hiccups stop. At least for me. It's, it's helped me so many times. Um, so that would be interesting, but I don't have comments turned on, so you guys can't Let's comment. Let's get back to this. Halloween spooky stuff. Let's do it. Let's talk about Halloween spooky stuff. We know what we're dressing up as. Not... You had two costumes, didn't you? Yeah. What, King what Boo and Charlie Brown. King Boo and Charlie Brown. Those are kind of opposites because Charlie Brown is awesome and kind of nice. And then King Boo is super scary and like spooktacular. Yeah. Um, what else about Halloween? Let's, uh, what's your favorite candy for Halloween? What are you hoping candy to get the most of? Candy corns? And Reese's. I'm like a chocolate peanut butter guy. It's gotta I, be, I want Reese's. It's got to be chocolate and peanut butter for me. Um, but you. I really are... want Reese's. Why? They're too tacular. They're too tacular. <laughs> this is a too tacular podcast. Apparently, we're talking a lot about toots in here. Um, <laughs> Reese's sells like a one-pound Reese's cup. Have you ever seen it? It's sure to give you diarrhea. <laughs> No offense, Reese's. I'm just saying, in general, if you eat too much chocolate and too much peanut butter. Arby's, we have. No, we can't do Ar Arby's advertisements. <laughs> this is our podcast. Arby's has to pay us to do those advertisements. Arby's, we have the week. There you go, Arby's. You're welcome. <laughs> you get a free one from Macklin. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Have you ever eaten Arby's? I hate it. I will never. You do not hate it. Have you ever eaten Arby's? Nope. Let me tell you a story about Arby's. Listen, when I was a little boy, my dad had this paint and body shop in Hollywood, Florida. Fun, Florida. Funny enough, I went from Hollywood, Florida to Hollywood, California. And at that Arby's, they had two things that were my favorite. And I would walk there because it was like 50 yards away from my dad's paint and body shop. I'd walk over to Arby's at lunchtime. They had something called a crispy chicken sandwich. It's like a big chicken McNugget on toasty nice bread with mayonnaise. I know you don't like mayonnaise, but you know I'm a mayonnaise guy. <laughs> He's not a mayonnaise fan. Anyways, I hate mayonnaise. Why? What is it? What, what is, hate is a strong word. What do you hate mayonnaise about? I don't know. Okay, so I'd go over to Arby's, I'd order this chicken sandwich. When you're filming a video too, you want to stay in the frame, right? Like, I don't want to talk from out here like this. It feels weird. I want to stay in the frame. So as far as I can go is like... That's as far as I can go. There's like a wall there. He's confused. He doesn't understand. Um, Arby's, sit down. Stay there. Arby's, I want to tell you something crazy about Arby's that I really like. What? Arby's has an apple turnover and a cherry turnover, or at least they used to. I don't know if they still had it. Once again, we're not sponsored by Arby's, but we're going to talk Arby's for a second. Do you know what an apple or cherry turnover is? It's like a pie for your hand. So it's like a triangle like this, at least it used to be when I used to eat at Arby's. It was a triangle filled with like cherry pie filling or apple pie filling. And it's like a piece of pie you just grab with your hands. It had a little paper on it. And you just, um, Okay, back to Halloween. That was funny. <laughs> and you just enjoy Very, it. very funny. Um, what else did I want to talk about while we were in here? There's some other things. Halloween. Well, what else about it? Oh, we got a new blow up. You want to talk about our new blow up? Oh, great. The what? tarantula hawk wasp. It's a tarantula, <laughs> not a tarantula <laughs> hawk wasp. It's a hawk and it's a wasp. It's not a wasp. It's an awesome tarantula. It blows up. It's like eight feet in circumference. Do you know what circumference is? Me either. It's eight feet in circumference. What? <laughs> that's the, that's what? how big it is around. And then the radius is from the middle to the side. Right? Yeah. Right. Am I right? Am I teaching my kid the wrong thing? Please, don't let me do that. Um, I depend on you guys <laughs> to teach me things so I can teach him things. Uh, hey. All right, let's get out of here then. I feel like you're uh, you're not you're not talking and you're ready to roll out. Let's go we do some fun even stuff. Done it for twenty. No, well, I can't talk the whole time without you, and you have the hiccups. Let's. What do you want to tell the people at home? What's our next podcast going to be about? Our next podcast. Tell them. 
Don't tell me. Tell those folks. Snoopy podcast. We can talk about Snoopy right now. What's your favorite line from Snoopy? What's your favorite thing people say when you watch Snoopy? Better when I'm dancing. Better when I'm dancing? Do you want to give a shout out to Megan Trainer? I love you, Megan Trainer. You don't have to yell at her. Um, this boy loves that song, Megan. So bravo to you, and I'm sure everybody else in the world loves it as well. But that's from the Peanuts movie, right? Because you eat peanut butter. I do. I actually eat almond butter. You eat peanut butter. But it... Almond butter's delicious. I freeze it in the freezer. Um, all right, we're getting out of here. We're going to do more podcasts. We're going to have another one coming soon. Have a great time. Rock it out. Have have a great time. Happy Halloween and snoring fr from zero. Boom. All right, over and out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.